Good morning guys. Um, as you can see, it is 6.38 a.m. on Monday, May 16th, and I have overslept. Normally, I get up at 5, 5.30ish. Um, my body just kind of gave out, and I slept in an extra hour. So, we are running behind for the day. But, it is a good thing because today is not a school day for us. Mondays and Tuesdays, we take off. Um, it's kind of like our Saturday, Sunday, so that helps, but uh, let's get started for the day and walk you through Emery's routine. So this is Miss Emery and she's still asleep. I'm not going to wake her just yet because we have so much going on today and something that she has been begging to do this afternoon is going to require massive amounts of energy so I'm going to let her sleep as much as possible but I do want to show you um, her ventilator as you can see it alarmed pretty good last night um, low minute ventilation means that it took her longer than a minute to breathe to initiate a breath and so uh, the machine had to constantly do it for her it kicks in after about 15 seconds of no breathing but it won't alarm until it's low minute, which means if it continually has to kick in for her, after a minute of continuous initiation, it will alarm as a no minute, a low minute ventilation. But this is her ventilator. It is a trilogy, and since she is not trached, it does um, get attached to her and process through a BiPAP mask. Not a CPAP mask, but a BiPAP mask. It's a little bit different is all. But it does have true ventilator settings. Now, we homeschool, and so with it today being Monday, we are not doing school. Mondays and Tuesdays are our Saturdays and Sundays. So it, this gives her the opportunity to sleep in, rest up, and do everything she needs. So we will come back whenever she's up and awake I do have to disconnect her from her feeding pump um, but this one is her daily medications this is not medications or treatments that she gets as needed or certain days of the week this is what she's on every single day okay look who's finally up after giving her all her medicine she's finally awake and she gotta go pee tell everybody hi so now that Miss Thing is awake, we are going to do our morning routine with you. We're not going to go into great detail, but the lighting kind of sucks today because when I turned the light on, two of the light bulbs burned out. So, but this is her cough assist. This is what we do first thing in the morning to get her lungs moving and grooving after being asleep with the ventilator all night. Normally the cough assist is used for people who are paralyzed or paralyzed um, at least from the chest down and they don't have the function to cough. Um, but for Emery, with her being on her ventilator at night and sleeping so much, and we need it to get her lungs awake and grooving for the day because they, they tend to be lax, lethargic, and paralyzed themselves if we don't. So she's sitting up, and then I turn the button on for therapy, which makes it active, and I just pull the lever plus or minus, and we do plus. Keep your cheeks in. And then we exhale. It sucks it in and throws it out. Sucks it in, throws it out. One more time. Sucks it in, throws it out. Okay, let's see if she can cough. No, it's not really a cough cough. It's more of a dry cough. Miss Emery is getting ready to start her vest treatment and her one of her first set of nebulizer treatments. Um, her vest will shake while her nebulizer infuses her nebs into her. Okay, so I started back and you can see <laughs> it is kind of loud and I have to talk over it. And it isn't something that the rest of the family likes that they're sleeping in because it wakes them up. 
She likes to sing opera and make noises while she's doing it. And we also cut her feeds off because it tends to make her sick to her stomach if she's jerking around like that and being fed at the same time. Say hi to one of Emery's older sister, Avery. She finally is awake and up and gracing us with her presence today. She has a doctor's appointment, so she is allowing herself four hours for trial and error to get ready. <laughs> Say good morning, Avery. Good morning. <laughs> All right, go get ready. Say hello to Emery's other older sister, Arabella. Say hi, Arabella. Hi. Arabella has finally woke up and decided to grace us with her presence. So she is stretching and she has got Callie, my mom's dog. So uh, I guess she's going to go get her hair brushed and get ready for the day as well. Yes, so tell everybody bye. Bye. This is Emery's Nana who has finally woke up and decided to grace us with her presence but she's not talking this morning she'd rather be on her phone and she's sporting some snazzy nail polish there that uh arabella painted her nails so uh and then over here on the other side of my mom's butt <laughs> is my son is emory's little brother he is three, he's conked out, and he's been sick and not feeling good. So this is what he does most of the day. So I'll show you this um, to let you know this is what Emory is going to be doing next. But I'm not going to show you how she does it. It's still something we're getting used to, and it's not pretty. Um, she has to squirt this mixture um, of distilled water and those packets up in her nose on both sides and alternating sides until that whole bottle is empty. Okay, so we're all hooked up to our pump for the day. Um, you can sit up so you can show them the back. Well, I don't really have it hooked up correctly because I have the tubes out, but I need to have access to it because i got to give her meds in a little bit. So that's our morning routine. Um, now that everybody's awakened up and moving around, we'll get ready for the rest of the day and get ready for the big surprise the girls have that actually called me and moved the appointment time up so we will be doing it earlier than I thought we we're gonna be rushing around trying to get everything accomplished and done so tell everybody bye until then bye. Hi, doctor's appointment are we gonna look and say hi say hi to everybody Hi. <laughs> but she has to come about once every three months for a condition called blepharitis that she has on her eyes and if I can focus I will show you what I'm talking about. Close your eyes real quick. You see those crusties that live on her eyelashes? Um, most people would say, oh, you've got sleepy in your eyes. And she doesn't. Um, that's actually skin flakage. <laughs> I guess is what you'd call it. Skin flakage um, from bacteria and basically germs that her oil glands keep secreting that we can't seem to <laughs> get rid of. You can open your eyes now. And a lot of times, whenever she has an extremely bad flare-up, it'll get on her bottom eyelashes, and then she'll have, like, eczema breakout. That's what it looks like, but it's not. But it's little pockets of sores and dry skin around her eyes, and that's when it is really, really, really bad. I'm going to head in for this eye doctor's appointment. Dr. Brown does not like electronics of any kind. She doesn't like cell phones, video cameras, that kind of thing, so we have to leave you out in the car. All right, look at me. All right, well, Miss Avery got a clean bill of health on her eyes. The doctor said that this is the best that they have looked, especially during a flare-up, and it has taken us... God, how long has it taken us to get you to this point? Uh, we came here when I was like seven. Seven. Seven or eight, so seven, six, seven years it has taken us to get her eyes to the point where the doctor is happy. And right now she sort of has a headache because they numbed her eyes so they could do a pressure. Because the medicine she's on, it'll change the pressure in your eyes. So it kind of gave her a headache. But uh, we're going to go eat. 
before we head to our surprise error. Okay, the girls have found or discovered the new Angry Birds toys that McDonald's has. <laughs> and they have and they have turned their Happy Meal boxes into catch-alls no, so they don't end up on the floor. No, wrestling cages. Wrestling cages is so I was so politely corrected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yep. So she takes it and she launches it into the box. Arabella's having a good time too. Use this part as a chimney in the very back of the box. So you can pretend the pig falls in the chimney when you blow up this thing. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> she says, okay. Okay. So let's set try. this up. No. Let's set it up and put this up here. Well then you should have got the kids me. And then let's set this up like it's our guard. And then it, let's pretend like it just fell down the chimney. Huh? Ready? <laughs> set. <laughs> you knocked your chimney off. <laughs> I want to try. Okay. Just press that. It's not easy. <laughs> it's easy, but is it fun and stress relieving? Now, what if it's anger relieving? <laughs> anger management. <laughs> that's why it's called Angry Birds. <laughs> but the angry birds aren't angry. Birds. You are. That's why you. <laughs> Angry. You don't need anger management, you need angry birds. <laughs> you need angry birds. <laughs> now I'm let's just... see if it's harder to try farther away. <laughs> oh. Oh. She's upset about her nails. They're they bare. They don't have finger to polish on them. <laughs> Tear. I'm so sorry. Okay, launch it. Let's see how you it is now. Not with your hand far away. Oh. <laughs> She's like, with your hand far away. Means that you've got to launch it from back here. Uh, uh. Booyah. <laughs> watch as a teenager tries to think out how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. She's trying to figure out how to insert the launcher into the bird's butt. Stop. I've got this. She's trying to figure out how to insert the launcher into the bird's butt. Figure it out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, with your hand and mouth. Okay, okay. Let me, hang on, let me hold it to make sure that it doesn't fly off. Okay, go ahead. Oh, you did pretty good. Oh, you did it. Okay, so we are here actually going in to the girl's surprise. And we're trying to keep it on low key. So I'm not going to show the signage. But I will show you the parking lot. We will come back out in a few minutes. So you can see and hear the good news or the bad. See ya. So the girls have an announcement to make for you. Arabella, why don't you go first? We just finished your tryouts. And what do they say about you? I am on the cobalt team. Mm-hmm. It's a junior one team. Yeah. And you are now a Victory All Stars cheerleader again. <laughs> All right, Emery. And do you have good news? Mm-hmm. And what is your good news? I also made and I am a pearl. You are a mini pearl, but you actually made the regular All Stars team and you are a mini pearl this year. So my two cheerleaders, this is their surprise that they've been waiting to tell you guys, is that they are now officially Victory All-Star Cheerleaders. It's not about the things that we can't do, it's about the things that we can do and the things that we try to do. Bye. Okay, so I'm sitting in the car with no makeup on, my hair hot mess, in sweat clothes waiting for my kids to get out of dance and I just wanted to reflect on what happened today and the things that I recorded I didn't get everything recorded life happened things got busy schedules got changed appointments got bumped up and that happens um, 
<laughs> in other words crap happens and you just have to deal with it so no I didn't get to show you the entire day of what we go through but with future vlogs that we do and videos that we post hopefully you'll get to see all that uh, I want to express how excited and how proud I am of my girls Arabella is going back to a cheer squad that she once felt kind of like she didn't belong because of her disability and nobody else having a disability things were a little rough for her and she took two seasons off decided that one season she was going to try gymnastics which she absolutely loves um, and then the second season she went back to dance um, to see if that was something that she liked at a different studio and her heart really 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 pulled her back to cheer and I'm so proud of her for getting back out there and doing what she loves and not letting her fear get the best of her. With that being said, I am extremely proud of Emery. Emery has been told no so many times in her life. She never says, you know, no. She never says quit. She never says can't. But people tell her no and quit on her so often that for her to make an all-star competition cheer team and it be the mini pearls not you know a special needs team or a adjusted team to fit her her disability is amazing now <laughs> we probably bit off more than we can chew and emory is going to have to struggle a lot and our schedule is going to have to change and you know we'll have to do igg on the go um that new the new treatment that we're doing for her to give her antibodies is something that we'll have to do at cheer arabella and emory go the same day emory goes first for two hours and then arabella goes after her for two hours so we go to the bathroom clean her up stick her get her started and she'll run her IgG while her sister is doing her cheer thing. <laughs> so it, it's possible. It's not going to be ideal, but it's possible we can do all this. We can still do infusions. We can do IgG. We can still do treatments. We'll just be a mito family on the go. It's not that we travel. We're just a mito family on the go with very busy, hectic schedules, and we'll make it work. And you all get to join us in... The adventure <laughs> of trying to make this all work we may fail we may succeed but you know what we'll know and we'll do it and we're not gonna say can't we're not gonna give up we're not gonna quit we are going to use Emory as an inspiration and we're gonna go forward and we are going to and I'm telling you now we are going to make this work it's gonna happen <sighs> so I'm taking a deep breath and praying really hard because an all-star cheer team is a lot for a little girl whose body does not make enough energy to hardly do the things that she does on a given day when she can't even get out of bed so right now we start off at one day you know one day a week two hours and then after what they call choreography week we go to two <laughs> days a week, two hours at a time. Plus, she'll be in tumbling classes, and I think I'm going to set her up on some privates. And she's still taking private swim lessons. So this little girl is hopping busy, but you know what they say about Mido? If you don't use it, you lose it. So we are going to make sure that every muscle in her body is at its fullest capacity. So with that being said, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to edit all this and post it, and we will... See you tomorrow.